So wondering how many sets and how many reps you should do as you get older to maximize your strength? Well, I'm Margaret Martin, Familiar Guide, Registered Physical Therapist, here to talk about sets and reps for 50 plus in a way that allows it to be sustainable, meaning you're gonna to wanna to do this for the next 40 years of your life, that it's attainable, that you go, yeah, I can do it and I can keep doing it. Also, that you want to feel that you're getting stronger and you're stimulating your bones. So all really important things to allow us to age with good quality of life. Reps is the number of repetitions in which you lift a weight or do a body movement, which is your body is being the resistance. So if I'm doing squats and I can you know, go down to a chair and come back up and down and back up and I manage to do 10 of them before my legs go, oh, I can't do another one, that set that you just did will have comprised 10 repetitions. So there's quite a range. When you see power lifters and they're trying to do their one rep max, that's one to the end of the spectrum. The other end of the spectrum is when you're in an aerobics class and it's like, let's keep going and keep going and you're doing you know, 15 and 20 and sometimes 25. Both ends of the spectrum are a problem when you get older. Lifting close to your max is going to put you at risk for injury. Doing high repetitions over and over and over again is fun. It's good for your cardiovascular endurance but it doesn't do a lot for your muscle strength or your bones. So we're looking for that sweet spot. Coming in, 20 is way too much. As we get closer to 10, we're getting close to that sweet spot. So I found over the years that with so many clients that I've worked with, that in the 10 to 12 range of repetitions, that's a really good place to start. You're Introducing a weight that's heavy enough that you're gonna fatigue between 10 and 12. But if you've been at it for at least two months, you want to encourage yourself to increase the load and reduce the number of repetitions. By reducing the number of repetitions, you're getting closer to that power lifter. And that's what we need in our muscles as we get stronger, as we get older and hopefully stronger is to get closer to that power lifter because you want to just be able to go, I can still do that. And you can generate that force production from your muscle. Next question is how many sets? One set would be the minimum you would do, obviously, because it's only one. If you want to build on the gains of that one set, you take a minute, maybe two minutes of rest. Doesn't mean you have to sit and have your coffee. You can. But even better, you could do another exercise of an opposite muscle group. Then you go back, having allowed that muscle to recover, you challenge the muscle again. So now you're building on the last set you, that you did. The goal is to actually fatigue the muscle so that you get some microscopic trauma, little tears in the muscle, and in the healing, your muscle gets stronger. That's how we build strength. Also, in the loading of the muscle, that muscle is vibrating, it's pulling on your bone, and your bone is getting stronger. So it's a win-win situation. So number of sets, two would be good, three would be even better. If you wanna do four, you have lots of energy, four is okay too. Greater the number of sets that you're imposing on the first one, you're just going to keep building and keep fatiguing that muscle. You might find that you need a little more recovery time, maybe you know two or three minutes between your set, and you might find that you need an extra day of recovery. So you might not be able to do another workout of the same muscle group within 48 hours, but rather give yourself 72 hours of rest. So I hope this, this video gives you a good sense of where to start with how many repetitions, how many sets to get to be your strongest both in your muscles and your bones as you get older. And 
so that you can keep enjoying and doing all the things that you love to do. I'm Margaret from Miller Guide. Thanks for joining me and have a lovely day.